Hello everybody, it's Adrian for Wipecar.my and I'm all about the details. Today I'm in a fantastic mood because Malaysians finally have another option for a B-segment SUV. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you guys on a closer look of this all-new Kia Seltos. Log on to Wipecar.my for the latest reviews, comparisons and car prices to help you find your next perfect car. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. In Malaysia, there's not many choices for B segment SUVs. You have the Honda HRV, you have the Mazda CX3, as well as the Renault Captur. But this Kia Seltos, the design is just so bold and aggressive. It just gives you a very strong impression on the road. Uh, things that I love about this is this LED headlamps, full LED headlamps, as well as LED daytime running lights. Now, interesting fact this middle section here, as you can see from the camera, there's a little bit of light running through. This only turns on when you have the headlamps on. Things that I don't quite like, this chrome bit. Is, I mean, I say chrome bit, but it actually feels very plasticky and a little bit fake and cheap. You have two variants of the Kia Seltos available, the range topping GT line, which is this one right here, as well as the entry level EX line. The GT line adds a black finish on the front grille, as well as red accents on the lower lip, side skirts, wheel caps, front brakes, as well as rear lower spoiler. Where other brands try to make their SUVs look a little bit family friendly, a little bit soft with curved, smooth lines, this Seltos, no. They just went back to creating a very rugged look with all these strong bolt lines on the front hood, the A pillar. This one is finished in black, by the way, very nice contrast. The roof, as well as the rear three quarter panel. You just get lots of bolt lines around. Other standard features you find on the Seltos include this functional roof rack, keyless entry, as well as 17-inch alloys, except the GT line gets a different design with a gunmetal finish. But one thing I'm quite curious is, why are the red brake calipers applied only to the front brakes and not the rear ones? Another feature unique to the range-topping GT line is this LED combination tail lamps. I think it looks a whole lot better compared to the halogen bulbs on the EX line. Uh, let's check out the boot space. Yep, manual tailgate. And it opens up to 433 litres of space, a whole lot more than the CX-3, but not as spacious as the Honda HR-V. Now, although it has a flat load lip, but I think this part is not as practical as the HR-V because once you open up, the entire you know, false boot floor is taken up by the Space Saver spare wheel. A small little point that I'm not too pleased with the Seltos is that there's no way to fold the rear seats down from the boot. You have to come all the way to the back seats and pull the latch by the side. Whoops. The cabin of the GT Line is where the money is at. Just look at how premium and impressionable this car looks. You get a 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You get a 70-inch TFT display on the center instrument cluster with two analog dials by the side, as well as a heads-up display. But what I particularly like is this entire black trim that's surrounding these two clusters. I don't know, it gives me that Mercedes uh, white screen cockpit kind of feel. D-shaped uh, flat bottom leather steering wheel with multifunctional buttons is standard across the range but this single zone automatic climate control is only available in this GT line. The GT line is also the only one that gets uh, leather upholstery, leather seats, Qi wireless charging tray as well as ventilator seats. Now I think this is the only and first ever B segment SUV to get ventilated seats. This drive mode selector button, which you can toggle between the drive mode as well as traction button, and then just swivel it around to change your different settings, as well as a sound mood lighting that changes the light according to the music or beats per second, how it uh, reacts, and then it changes the colors accordingly. Even though the Seltos shares the same wheelbase as the Honda HRV at 2610 millimeters, uh, the interior packaging I still have to give it to Honda. But it's not that the Seltos is bad, it's just it's not as spacious as the HRV. I have the front seat adjusted to my usual driving position and I'm 175 cm tall. This is quite a generous amount of knee room. Footwell room is quite decent too, as well as the headroom. Amenities in here are a plenty. You get two rear pockets, rear air vents, a USB charging port down here, as well as a center armrest with two cup holders. 
There's only one engine option available for the Kia Seltos in Malaysia, which is the 1.6-litre naturally aspirated four-cylinder MPI petrol engine. It pushes out 123 horsepower and 150 newton meters of torque. Power is transferred to the front wheels via a six-speed automatic transmission. Initial impressions of the Kia Seltos is fantastic. I love how the car looks in person, the features, the build quality on the inside, everything about it is very positive except for the safety features. You see, as standard, the Kia Seltos only gets six airbags as well as ABS and electronic stability control. It doesn't have any form of ADAS, no autonomous emergency braking, no 360-degree camera, not even blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And let us know in the comment section below what you think of the Kia Seltos against the Honda HR-V. Head on over to webcar.my for the latest reviews, comparisons, photos, and virtual reality showroom to help you decide on your next perfect car.